just just your signature there. And then just initial. Mm -hmm. Good. And initials up here. She-Hulk, head writer and showrunner of Attorney at Law The eagerly awaited appearance of Megan the Stallion in Episode 3 is explained by Jessica Gao. Jessica Gao, the lead writer and showrunner for She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, explains how Megan the Stallion's cameo in Episode 3 came about. Tatyana Maslany plays Jennifer Walters, a defense lawyer tasked with defending superhumans in a court of justice, in the concluding MCU Phase 4 television series. The former UK Royal Marines Commando Emil Blonsky, Tim Roth, who fought against Bruce Banner Hulk, Edward Norton, in the 2008 movie The Incredible Hulk, is the subject of her first case. While defending Blonsky, Walters was called to testify for her former colleague, Dennis Bukowski, Drew Matthews, who believed that he was dating famed rapper Megan Thee Stallion. However, after spending $175,000, he found out that the musician was actually a shape-shifting light elf from New Asgard. Surprisingly, the actual Megan Thee Stallion appeared as a cameo in both the courtroom as a member of the audience and in the mid-credits scene hiring Walters as her lawyer with both of them twerking to Megan Thee Stallion's body. In a recent interview with Dvline, Gao revealed how Megan Thee Stallion's She-Hulk, attorney at law cameo in episode 3 happened. No, 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 no. That's right. There's only one Megan Thee Stallion. The showrunner explained that for the episode they needed a famous, beautiful, successful woman to fill the role in Jamila Jamal, Titania, had connections with Megan Thee Stallion from working on HBO's reality television series, Legendary. We knew that for that story, we needed a famous, beautiful, successful woman, we were going through all the possibilities, but when it came down to it, Jamila knew Megan from working on Legendary together, and she brought her up. We were like, don't say it, if it's not really true. Don't tease us with this. Unknown ladies may have been taken into consideration by the She-Hulk crew, but Megan the Stallion unquestionably meets their requirements. She has had commercial success as well as winning numerous accolades, including three Grammys. Another illustration of how crucial it is to network properly in the entertainment industry is Megan the Stallion's presence on She-Hulk. It's possible that someone else would have gotten the guest seat if she didn't have a direct relationship to Jamal. This appears to be more than a small part considering that Megan Thee Stallion reportedly has a multi-episode She-Hulk role that includes an action scene. She has shown a desire to diversify her career outside music and partnering with Marvel may be the first move in that direction. Using the popular Megan Thee Stallion as the subject of Bukowski's case is humorous in its own right due to the fact that the rapper is one of the biggest names in music today. However, Megan Thee Stallion's appearance in the episode proved to be one of the most surprising aspects of the show thus far. With the series already providing cameos from the MCU every episode, bringing in a real-life star was something truly unexpected. However, She-Hulk, attorney at law, may have set the bar too high to top such a big cameo appearance. Way more fun than my last lawyer? I will kill for you, Megan Thee Stallion.